Um, I think we should get started. We're four minutes past the hour. So thank you, everyone, for joining. Uh, before we before we get started, I want to remind everyone that this is a CNCF uh, meeting and a CNCF initiative. Therefore, we uh, we stand by the CNCF code of conduct, which you can read it in the agenda, but ultimately boils down to treat the others like you like to be treated yourself. Um, so we have a lot of new faces. Would you got, Would you like to introduce yourself? Please do. You can just take the take the ball as much as you want. So I'll go first. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Sunil Rabiapati. I'm based in Santa Clara, San Francisco Bay Area, and I've been in the CNCF uh, community for the last uh, five or seven years. I'm part of the Tax Security Working Group. Uh, Zero Trust. Um, I used to work for uh, Anthem slash Eluence Health uh, in the cybersecurity space, and we were one of the uh, sponsors for CNCF events in the past. And I'm looking forward to KubeCon uh, next week to be in person there. So if anyone is there in person, uh, it'll be great to meet up or coffee or you know lunch in one of the common areas there. Nice. Thank you. On that, oh. yeah, on that, Sunil, there is, uh, I will not be a KubeCon, but uh, Catherine will be. And I know that Catherine is trying to hoard around a lot of us. Uh, uh, so please stay in touch with Catherine for that. Oh, yeah, sure, absolutely. We'll be at DEI Community Hub, and there will be uh, a uh, some um, events around this so we'll have a thing like a hispanic latino and then like a black kind of round table open discussion i don't know how it's framed i was just going to say like the person just to make it easy the person who introduced themselves picks the next person because then we're not like so sunil you get to pick all right so i'll probably uh pick someone uh next is going to be uh I guess I'm just taking a look at the Zoom link here, participants. Uh, Rosalind Bassi. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Rosalind Bassi, and I'm based in Nigeria. It's um, a pleasure meeting everyone. So hey, I'm going to, yep. Yeah. No, I said um, hi. Hi, William. Hi. hi. <laughs> hi. Yeah, it's good to meet everyone again. I did miss the last um, meeting. So I'm going to go through the chat um, participant here. I'm going to pass it on to, I don't know. Okay, I'll pass it on to Ukeme. I'm, I've seen, Hey folks, I'm Ray. I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, uh, out in California. Um, this is my first meeting, and I just saw Catherine's uh, quick Slack reminder. So thank you, Catherine. I did not have this on my invite, so I, I'll have it added to my invite. Um, and I currently work at Red Hat. You get to pick. Um, okay, I will pick... Um, did Yash Sharma go? I joined yeah. late, sorry. Okay. Yeah. So hi everyone, I'm I'm Yash and I'm contributing in open source and the CNC for around two years now. I'm being maintainer of Mishri and also software engineer at Layer 5. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so I will pick next um uh, Mauro. Yeah. Hey Yash. Uh -huh. Nice seeing you again. Um, yeah, my name is Mauro. I'm originally from Guatemala, but I live in Kent, Belgium. I work for a company called SpectroCloud. We do uh, managed Kubernetes. I am part of uh, an open source project called Kairos. Uh, we are a CNCF sandbox project. 
And uh, I am also part of the special purpose operating system work group under the runtime tag. Uh, yeah, just uh, happy to be here to see where this uh, moves on. Uh, it's exciting to see, uh, uh, I don't know, so many people who I would say I relate to uh, taking a voice and, and, and bringing their best game. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, next person, uh, Adriana? Hey, uh, my name is Adriana Villela or Adriana Villela. Um, I am originally from Brazil, um, living in Canada for the last 35 years. Um, I am, I, I just recently switched jobs, like literally yesterday. I'm a principal developer advocate at Dynatrace. Um, I've been in open source, I guess, for the last two and a half years. I spend most of my time in the open telemetry space and, um, Platform engineering adjacent. Um, next person, I'm going to pick on Marino. Uh, how did I know that? Uh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna, <laughs> let me go on camera. Um, so, hey, everyone, my name is Marino. I, I am based in Canada, and I work for a company called Kong as a solutions architect, where I just work with you know, end users, onboarding, mesh, and, and gateway technology. Uh, I've kind of been in the CNCF ecosystem probably for about I don't know, five-ish years when I first started getting into Kubernetes um, at VMware. So it's kind of nice to see some of the faces here that have probably been in that same ecosystem when I first joined and, you know, coming around to it, being able to work with everyone here is is a, uh, is a privilege. So thank you for having me here, everyone. Oh, yeah, next person I'm going to pick on. Uh, let's go with Kunal. Oh. How did I know that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Kunal. I work uh, I'm the field CTO at SIBO. Um, I live in London, but I'm in San Francisco for two weeks. So uh, people who are in SF, please connect with me on LinkedIn. I have just sent the details in the chat. I will be in San Francisco. Sorry, I'll be in Salt Lake City for KubeCon as well. Um, yeah, um, that, that's it. CNC ambassador, usual stuff. Yeah. Oh, I have to pick someone. Ray. We already went. Oh, you already went? Yep. Uh, uh, I'll pick Josh. Hey there, Josh Burkus. I'm actually um, uh, co-chair of Tag Contributor Strategy. And I'm, I'm basically here in case there's action items for me um, on, on setting up the initiative um, an eventual working group. The full list of people here. You, you get, no, we haven't you got get everybody. To pick the next one, just. Yeah. Um, Kalai? If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Kalea. I'm assuming that you can hear me. Um, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see me. Um, my name's Kalea. I'm an American uh, living in Stuttgart, but prior to going to Stuttgart six months ago, I was in Accra, Ghana. So, and I'm currently now in the States for KubeCon. <laughs> so it's crazy, I'm all over the place. I'm an observability engineer at Eon, um, which is based out of um, Germany as an energy company. And um, I started going to KubeCons in 2022. And slowly started getting involved with different communities, and now I'm one of the co-organizers organizers for KCD Accra. So happy to be here. And I pick the next person. Let's see. Here we go. Y'all, I cannot see. I got to put it on the big screen so I can see the names. <laughs> um, Destiny, did you go? I know Destiny was multitasking with her child. Maybe, let's see, Travis, are you ready while Destiny maybe goes on? That'll work. <laughs> Hold on, there he is. Hey, I am sorry, I was in the um, sorry, I'm Mr. Today. Um, so I'm, I'm Travis and I, um, it's, it's like my, um, 
I believe my second, you know, after a meeting, I can't remember. But I'm I'm happy to be here. Um I'm part of the uh, the CNCF um Deaf and Hard Hearing Working Group. Um and I'll be going to KuCon next week. And that'll be my first time. And I'm really excited to go there. Um I, I work for Combo Communication, which is really a, a it's a video related service provider. Um we we hope we um deaf and hard hearing people um connect by video uh, telephone. So um the the interpreter can connect the the call for the the deaf and hard hearing people. Um, I I currently work at a, a level three engineer. It's more of like um some of it's like a combination of technical support, um quality assurance and let's see, um a little bit of a site reliability engineering. Um I wear many hats internally. So, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to pick the next person. Um, who goes next? Huh? I, I, I'm I sorry. I don't know who, who went already. So, <laughs> um, I think we're see. through, think we're except good. William and me. And because Destiny, no. she uh, introduced herself in, in the chat. So I know she is with her little baby at the same time. So that's hard. Um, so you can read her intro. And I just wanted to say, so uh, I'm always, I'm really excited to have Travis and Destiny here who are from the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group, because I think like we all have the same mission, increasing diversity and and um, making mi uh, minorities or underrepresented groups more visible. And I'm really hoping that all these groups kind of connect and help each other because we're all fighting for the same thing, right? So uh, William, do you want to go? Yes, absolutely. Uh, before I get started, I want to congratulate Travis for his CKA. He was uh, working very hard with it. Oh, well you? Done, brother. Yeah. You... Oh, wow. That's... Oh, yeah. Congrats. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so next, next thing, uh, next thing, next. Um, KubeCon London. I've been, I've been pushing a lot of messages in the Slack. Uh, so I, I, I will, I will say it again here. Um, we would like to, we would like to make, to make members of the BIPOC as much, as visible as possible as we, as is in our charter. Um, are you guys thinking of submitting thoughts? Do you, do you feel you need help? Just looking, to be honest, just looking at this meeting, uh, there are people like Mauro, people like Marino, uh, uh, Kunal, uh, Ray, they are um, they are pillars in the in, in the in the CNCF community and in and in, in doing talks. They do talks just like they drink their coffee or, or tea. So I, it would be a, it would be it would be a, a waste of opportunity not to not to get some mentorship from them if they are available, of course, to do so. Um, or if so, please do reach out to them. So are, is there any of you that was thinking of applying, submitting a talk or would be interested in doing so? Yep, I will be applying for a talk. And okay. definitely That's... I'm looking, and definitely I'm looking to, to team up because I don't have a lot of experience in speaking about QCons, but unfortunately I do have, I have a spoken in QCon channel, but would love to team up with this. Okay. Okay, so um, yes, what I what I would suggest to do is um, you can reach out, of course, to any one uh, of us, but you can also put out the, the 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 call for help in the BIPOC channel, and one of us can pick it up if they if they feel they can help you. Maybe you can put uh, like I did for the for my talk regarding LinkedIn. Uh, you can put the, the topics that you're interested in. Uh, what is your thing? Your, your thoughts or and and just and just to see where that goes. Just keep in mind that the uh, the end date is the twenty fourth of November, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. No, I think I think I'm correct. So it's um it's very soon. Okay. And also um, one thing, if I can. Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, and also, if there are any, so I think there are always two ways to go. One is, uh, yeah, just uh, I'd like to talk about this and like, like you know, put your abstract in a Google Doc and share it and ask for feedback. And 
Um, but also like a, a call out to the more experienced speakers. If you're like, hey, I would love to team up with someone, you know, because it's always easier. It's like I have already the submission. It's like, okay, do you want to, you know, um, join? I know it's very early because we just started this group and the CFP is coming, but something to keep in mind, right? Like it's, it's, so I think we can help the more, uh, the people with less experience, but also if, if you want to kind of have someone join you, I think that's definitely uh, always helpful because then you learn how to create a, you know, like th there's a whole learning um, curve for that. So I just wanted to put that out there. Yes. I think there was some um, Mauro was, was, that was I was pretty much going to say something similar. Uh, so thanks for saying that, Catherine. And um, I'm unfortunately not going to be able to go to London, but I will send some applications uh, uh, on the, the Kairos team behalf. So someone from the Kairos team might go, but uh, I was thinking something uh, like uh, Catherine mentioned, team, it's team, teaming up with someone else. Since I'm not going to be there, but if there was anyone who would be interested on the uh, talks that we're going to propose uh, and would like to present them, we're more than happy to work together and teach you whatever is needed. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Mauro. That's absolutely helpful. Uh, one, one thing also to think about is... I mean, of course, KubeCon is the, the main event. Applying to the main event is what everybody wants to do. Uh, but let's not forget uh, about the co-located events. Uh, those are, there's, there are CFPs for each one of those. Uh, like there is ArgoCon, uh, Platform Engineering Day, Linkerd Day. Um, all of these happen just the day before um, of the main event. And it's worth applying, it's worth um, getting um, getting on stage and practicing and, and trying out. And you can ap indeed apply the same talk at the main event and at the co-located. And then if you, get up, if you get accepted to both, you get to choose. So uh, just something to think about. Uh, okay, so Next one, um, we've been working on the charter. We've been uh, discussing and discussing how, uh, how it should look. Uh, in, the charter is live. Thank you very much, Josh, for creating the, uh, the repo. Um, uh, we have published our, um, our mission, our values, uh, our vision, our mission, and our goals. And so that was there was some nice work to do, but the real work starts now because now we have to do something about those goals. Um, please, but before we get to work on the, on those goals, we should get the word out about our charter. So please, uh, if you can, uh, get some time to share on your on the social medias. What I will do tomorrow in the morning, I will I will start preparing some uh, posts. That, that we can put out to uh, to promote our charter. You you may want you may choose it to choose to to use those posts, or you can just write your own thing. It's it's fine. We just need to uh, blast the media, the social media, uh, with the message. Um, that's that's one. We need to speak of our goals. Yes. Uh, before I pass the ball to you, to Catherine, for the for the ideas, I want to say just one thing. There is, uh, from what I understand, is the first one. Yes, is the first one in Africa. Is the first case KCD or Kubernetes community event in Africa, um, and Calais is organizing it. Calais, am I saying? Am I right saying that is the first one in Africa? Uh, no, it's the it's the only one happening this year of 2024. Nigeria had one a couple years back. Okay, okay, okay. So since two years is the first one, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a virtual event, and it would uh, it could use some uh, promotion. So if you guys uh, would Thank wouldn't you. mind to share the medias, yeah, absolutely. Uh, to yes, your to your share... uh, LinkedIn. Yeah, I can share the it. link. Sorry, in the, um, 
in the Slack channel, but I can share it in here too. Sorry, I'm using two different computers doing two separate things. I'm working and I'm also trying to do this meeting. <laughs> so I can share the link um, in both this meeting as well as in our Slack channel. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next, Catherine, would you like to take the ball for the ideas that you put in there or? or let me sure. See. So I thought since, yeah, the next um, step would basically be like brainstorm uh, ideas of how, what we should do, right? Um, um, you have the charter, uh, you can look at it, what the goals are, um, and then what are the things that we should tackle? And so uh, I just wanted to share a few things that I think are working really well for the deaf and hard of hearing uh, group. And then just like, that's something that you you know, kind of think, yeah, it would work as well, or, um, you know, so one of the things that we do a lot is like educating the community about the issue and, and for deaf and hard of hearing is accessibility, right? And um, I feel like, of course, accessibility is very different because that's like a real issue. You cannot access it. Like that's not the problem that uh, BIPOC people are facing. It's mostly uh, barriers and prejudices and things like that. But I, while talking to uh, William, I thought that it's really important. Well, one of the things is like cloud native is very open. We're very, you know, like, uh, uh, or, and I think a lot of people just assume there is no real, like we all know racism exists and everything, but it's very easy to think like, yeah, but it's not something like as a white person, right? It's very easy to think, yeah, it, it's something that exists in the world, but it's not here. Like we're we're nice. We we do all these things. Um, we're so inclusive. So I think it it is like one of the things that could be important is kind of talking about that, right? Like what what is it like to be BIPOC and cloud native? Like what are the barriers that you're facing? It's just about education, right? Like just opening people's eyes, right? And then, uh, like, once people know what the issues are, it's kind of encouraging them to become allies, um, you know, to help us kind of overcome these issues. And then, like, platforms we can use, right? It's like KubeCon Talks, of course. You cannot always talk, but there is, like, a community track, and it's probably not going to be more than one talk per whole KubeCon or other conferences as well. Uh, the CNCF uh, does live streams, you know, like, if, each time I ask them if we could do something, uh, for the deaf and hard of hearing uh, working group, they said yes. Like a panel of people, it's just like just having a conversation about like, hey, yeah, what was your experience? Just sharing it. It doesn't have to be like this dark and terrible, you know, kind of conversation that kind of draws people down. But like, and you know, like yeah, these are really things. And sometimes using humor, you know, like sometimes like people ask me these stupid questions or whatever. So, but but the goal is kind of like educate people, uh, and then. We do have best practices docs. That's something that I don't really know how it applies. You would know better, uh, basically, which kind of outline like what is accessibility and how does it look like? Uh, that I don't know, but like just putting it out there. And then of course, social media posts, right? Like we post about these things. And then uh, what we always do is like posting it in the channel. We really kind of elevate each other you know if someone is doing something it's really like kind of like uh, we all kind of create a lot of noise about it so people see everyone in our community right um so i think that has been very effective um and then of course we just talked about that kubecon uh talks supporting uh really each other what we talked right like like uh, mentors mentees uh and i put here one example what is that Oh, I think that's probably the, uh, oh yeah. So there is a link to a LinkedIn post that we recently did with everything. You should check it out with everything we're doing at KubeCon. You know, we can use that to promote everyone in this team uh, and, uh, and get some uh, visibility, which is much easier to do it as a group than doing it on their own. Um, and then of course the supportive network, you know, for elevating each other, celebrating each other um helping each other when you know like younger people or like or less experienced people have just questions it should be a safe place to ask questions right like so uh no <laughs> um and then um oh and then yeah i had this idea i completely forgot about it so one of the things that 
I was thinking I would love to actually ask our ambassadors here, and I know William has done it, is like, let's activate the CNCF ambassadors, right? Like, uh, I know for, sometimes we had something to celebrate for the a deaf and hard of hearing. Let's post it out there. And then William was like, hey, guys, there is this thing going on. Please get, get the word out. We can do exactly the same thing for everything this group does, right? Like, and I think it is everyone feels supportive. And I think like most people think these initiatives are important and would be supportive. So uh, I think um, there is a lot we can do there. And then, uh, yeah, so those are just some ideas. And then I'll open up the floor for more brainstorming. I do always have a heart stop at this time. So I'll leave it up to you to have the discussions and then maybe um, uh, put some ideas there. And at uh, one point, I think it's really important to have low hanging fruits as well. Like some, some things are going to be like, well, these are mammoth issues that we need to tackle. Um, but like, that's important too, but we also need like low hanging fruits. So people find, uh, see quick wins and, and people get excited. Like for instance, like a CNCF live stream with a few of you just doing some uh, like a conversation about the issue. Um, so just like having that mix, I think is important. So yeah, identifying those and then kind of prioritizing. So that would be kind of my suggestion. Um, but yeah, and now I'll have to leave. Thanks for showing up everyone. Um, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Catherine. To add to what Catherine just said, there is, um, there is a lightning talk that I've done at KCD uh, UK. Um, it was about BIPOC. It's so a lightning talk is normally five minutes. Um, you, um, what I plan to do, it was, it was received very well. And, uh, it was, um, and on the day that I did it, 10 people joined our Slack channel. So there is interest. There is, uh, there is, uh, there is, uh, a lot of interest into seeing discrimination er eradicated from from cloud native and open source, and hopefully from the rest as well. Um, what I what I could do, I could share this uh, the slides uh, that I that I made. You just you literally just need to change the second slide, where there is it's who I am, so you can just put who you are, and maybe maybe try out that lightning talk or whatever event you can. Um, it, it helps us out, uh, so we we need to we need to. The only way to to make it work is if we uh, if we outreach uh, and we expose the problem. So now, thoughts. None. Okay, so what are, what is the general sentiment on the idea of uh, creating a, uh, making some CNCF streams? Um, those streams normally are can be thirty minutes or, or one hour, as far as I as I've seen so far. Uh, they are normally are accepted by the CNCF to to do it. They can be um, again. They shouldn't be a, a, a floor for complaining or creating a dark memory of something uh, but it should be it, it should be sh sharing there should we should be sharing how we feel about certain things or what happened and how could have been avoided um, so is that something that we would like to do is there anybody that would be interested in doing so i like that idea I'm still right. trying to understand exactly what it is. It's like you're you're getting online, streaming, talking about an experience you had in the workplace. Can uh, be cloud native. Like I, I'm trying to understand. So, yeah. Well, the idea the idea Akalai, is to raise awareness on something. So there um. So there are uh, microaggressions, right, or involuntary aggressions. Those. The, equally, there is um, involuntary racism or involuntary discrimination uh, or voluntary, as you know very well. Um, so, what I'm, there are things that we should uh, we should we should we should bring forward and say, look, this thing that might be normal for many for me is hard to do, is hard to live with. 
You understand? So some, I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but I it, understand. It's, it is, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there are some things that I say in certain situations that I might not realize it's hurting somebody or it's not sitting well with somebody, not hurting, but it's not sitting well with someone. So we should, we as black indigenous or people of color, we should say what sit, is not sitting well with us. And, mm. and it, uh, can I say something, William? Of course. Um, so I, I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. Uh, it, it makes sense when I hear it. Uh, at the same time, uh, I've been a bit exposed to all these ideas about intersectionality and all of that. So I wonder how easy it's going to be to complain about something where I am also failing on another field, if you know what I mean. Like maybe someone has treated me badly for being Latino, but maybe I've made the uh, wrong comments towards a woman. You know what I mean? So um, uh, I, what, what I mean is I would like to take like a high stand and and try to have this kind of uh, um, uh, exposure to say how other people are doing bad things, while at the same time, I have a lot to learn as a human being. That's what I mean. And I think that's, uh, personally, I would feel like, I would feel uh, uh, someone that says something like you said is the, is the one that is the, has the right to say that. Uh, or not the right, but is the right person to say how we should treat others, right? Uh, understanding that we are human beings and that we make mistakes is the first step into improving uh, whatever we make. I also have probably have made comments, certainly I've made comments which are not necessarily um, inclusive. Uh, and I might have, uh, I might have, um, uh, regretted it, or I might have not, or I might have noticed it, or I might have not. It's it's uh, it's how life is going to be always, uh, and and I will be make more mistakes uh, until my last day. So, but it's important also to work towards improvement. Um, through through, we're not take, we're no, nobody. I don't think that our intention here is to get on a high stand and judge, but it's more. We have a position. We all have a position of visibility, and it's. Uh, I believe. I feel it's important that we use that position of visibility to, to improve what we can. Or, yeah, that's that's what I. That's how I see it, at least. Yeah, makes sense. Maybe we can work together on figuring out the best way to do it, then I would feel a bit more comfortable, I guess. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. We don't we don't want to do something that is that is making some so any of us uncomfortable on anybody that is watching uncomfortable, right? Um, so it's it's um, so so I I <laughs> um, the, I, I, when, I, when, I, when I was working on Kubernetes, uh, I didn't know Kelsey I Tower. Um, the, the reason why I got interested in Kelsey I Tower was because of, of a talk that he did. Um, I, th I think it was um, DockerCon or something like that. I was watching it on YouTube. But he, he went through uh, one of his stories and it was a discrimination story. He didn't specifically say it. Uh, he got particularly emotional, emotional on stage. But the, exactly the same thing that happened to him happened to me years ago uh, in Italy. And uh, it got me, it, while I was watching the, 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 the stream, it got me to choke a little bit. Um, and, and that's the kind of things that I, that I think we should be aware of. This, 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 this is so. He has the visibility. He reached, he reached out to a lot of people. He says that story, and is it's not a dark story, but it touches someone else, and that someone else might choose to do something, might choose to 
change opinion or but you still do nothing and all of that it's it's, it's okay but uh, but it's important to reach out i think so i don't know i don't know how it's gone out there so Kalei, i don't know to answer your question i don't know how we're gonna do those streams uh, but those are uh, um those are a mean that we can use yeah sounds good thank you thank you um so some low, certainly some low hanging fruits um uh Catherine left us with that uh, that is definitely the uh, a right thing to to, to do uh, catch some low hanging fruits and I think some low hanging fruits are our social medias. I am no longer on uh, on Twitter. I find it um, a media that I don't want to be associated with. I am on, uh, I say, Blue Sky, B Sky, Blue Sky, something like that. I don't know. I think it's called like that. Uh, I'm I'm over there. I um, uh, but if you are on Twitter, please share on Twitter, share on Blue Sky, share on Mastodon, LinkedIn whatever is possible so sharing our uh sharing our medias our reach our reach out messages are always good uh when possible please link the channel the slack channels link the chatter um that's always good and uh, and do talks do talks please i will share those slides shortly um There is one more thing that is not in the agenda, but I, I just want to throw it out there now. Uh, and then you guys can can uh, can think about it. So last year I have reached out to um, the co community management in, in, in CSCF for, because I wanted to do something with children. Um, uh, I wanted to run a workshop in some schools in the Netherlands for, ch for children um, underrepresented or were with less uh, possibilities. Um, and it was it was seen as a positive thing. So, but uh, you know, for one one person, it was a lot of work, and I did I already had a lot of work that I had to do. So. But there is the cloud native, uh, uh, the kids day uh, during, um, bef always before KubeCon. In Paris, I think it was the first time that was done the day after KubeCon. Um, and they run a workshop. So three, I think, three themed workshops that the kids can choose from according to age and what they want to do. Sometimes it's Minecraft and stuff like that. So it's something very similar that I want to do. And, I, and that's why I also want to reach the kids day um, folks, I was thinking of uh, an eight hours workshop to do at children's school schools between um, the, of the children that are between eleven and twelve, um, and it would be split into uh, eight eight days, so one one day per week, so one day one time two hours. So sorry. Um, Four days or six days, something like that. One and a half hour. I, I had some made some calculations, but basically starting with uh, Linux, open source, um, of course, uh, some some basic coding, and get them to to complete the the course with a little with something with a, on a GitHub um, a repo, a little website or something that they put together with the, with an account of the school that they can eventually get to run more regularly every year. I would like this to be something into the in the BIPOC. Um, um, it makes sense, but of course, it's not only my decision. It's also the decision of people that are in here. So what do you guys think? Is this something that would be of interest? Or do you have to think through it? We probably have to think through it. Any thoughts? I do have a thought. I know like a lot of people aren't talking, but I have a thought. <laughs> um, so working with kids, uh, will the parents stay there for that every time they have a little session throughout the KubeCon? 
will the parents stay during that time? Like if the kid starts being unruly, who keeps them in line? We were talking about children. You I know, would... their attention span is not that long. No, 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 absolutely. No, no, uh, Calais, this is not for KubeCon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So at KubeCon, there is a kid's day. I want to talk with them to understand how they build their workshops. But the workshops that I'm talking about are at schools. Oh, okay. So in my case, in my case, I have spoken with two schools mm -hmm. that are um, mostly black schools uh, mm -hmm. in uh, in uh, in Amsterdam, in the mm -hmm. Netherlands, and they have these after-school workshops where the kids can sign up to. Okay. So um, there would be a teacher, teacher of the kids, and there would be in in that case there would be me running that workshop. So like one hour and a half uh, per week uh, doing this thing with the kids. And you, st you have a starting point and an ending point that is after, I don't know, four weeks or, or six weeks. Okay, I see. Normally, so it's separate from uh, KubeCon, it's its own entity, like um, the National Center for Women and in Information Technology called NCWIT in the States does something called Aspire, which they work with um, high schoolers and then there's another program for middle schoolers and that's a uh, it started small like this so that's why i was trying to understand um okay i mean i would be interested in that because i'm based in germany and it's basically the same time zone <laughs> so i think i would be interested in that but yeah that's just me because i'm in europe right now or based in europe yeah okay. yeah but it, but it would be it would be something that would be irrelevant, right? The time zone would be irrelevant because we, we let's say, Calais, I just take you, I'm talking, uh, you, we are talking, so Calais, you would be going to a couple of, you know Stuttgart, so you know if there are maybe a couple of schools which are in areas less privileged and you can approach them, you can say, okay, guys, I, I want to dedicate one hour and a half a week doing this and this is the plan and this is everything. So basically, the work that we would be doing within the BIPOC would be getting all our minds together to build that workshop, to build that plan, so that the person that goes out running that plan uh, in the school has already uh, the work cut out and is just delivering about delivering to the kids. Because what I've seen, um, my partner works in a, in, a, in a school, in one of these type of schools uh, less, of less privileged children. And sometimes the teachers just simply don't know, don't, don't know themselves about these possibilities. And there are, there are very big talents, but a talent, um, you know, without their necessary tools is just a talent wasted. So maybe they, they get the access to the tool and they can, uh, and they can develop their talent uh, and then, uh, open up more possibilities afterwards. So I feel that this would be something that the BIPOC could own. Um, so that's my, my idea. So um, uh, I don't know if it uh, makes sense, but maybe there is already uh, the word in English escapes in very like the, the full program written for kids by some other organization. Uh, that can be taken or improved or whatever. I also know that FOSDEM will have this year again a junior day. Uh, I don't know if it would be worth uh, talking to people there, like you're in discussions with people from KubeCon, for example. Um, but those are that, that's as far as my ideas go. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That, those are good ideas. Uh, we can definitely look into some something that is being done by somebody else uh, absolutely I, that's why I, I want to look into the uh, cloud native kids um yes we're looking for them look into some other organization what they are doing uh, it's just um it's good yes let's let's do it yes uh, for me it's all good we first need to agree that something that this is something that should be um Matter, a matter of interest for BIPOC. Uh, I think it is. I think it falls into our goals and of creating a more inclusive open source ecosystem. Um, um, I'm 
what what I'm thinking a little bit is that I think a lot of the challenges as a Latino uh, come uh, as a result of uh, things that have happened in the past, so to speak, like uh, you started, let's say, in a less privileged uh, sort of education or whatever, something like that, for example, that, that already makes things a little bit harder or you just come from a certain country that uh, might make it a little bit harder or whatever. So that, that's where I would see a good fit with what you're talking, William, as in you're already trying to help and prep these kids for the future so that they don't have to experience that uh, uh, later on in their life. Um, that's the, the analysis I would make right now of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mauro. Uh, Destiny, I saw that you came on camera. Did you want to say something? Uh, yes, I, I wasn't sure um, because I do work with Deaf Kids Code and we work with children and we um, do the courses in sign language and I was thinking how can we incorporate that into a BIPOC as well, but I don't know the right way to do it. So maybe you guys can help me out with that. Maybe we can have... Um, along your courses to have silence but just in case those schools have their students there as well. Sounds good. Doesn't it? Okay. It, it sounds good. To me, it sounds good. Uh, to be honest, guys, uh, whatever, whatever we do with children, with underrepresented children, for me, it's always good. So, uh, so whatever we can, we can, however we can, uh, we can make a better future, future for everybody's better. Um, we are one minute over. Are there any last thoughts before we close? Thank you, no? Destiny. <laughs> I think you sent out the e the messages on Slack. Is that you who sent yes. out the messages? It's like, thank you, girl. Thank you. Because I love them. It always helps me remember when things are happening and what I need to do. So thank you. <laughs> oh, no, that was Catherine with my name. Oh, and, Catherine. Um, okay. Yeah, sorry. Catherine. Yeah. Well, you tell her I said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I wanted to introduce myself because I haven't. Um, I was quite busy earlier. But uh, my name is Destiny. I'm deaf. Um, I'm a web developer for Women Blessing Women, and I'm co-chair for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing Working Group. Um, so I, Catherine basically explained everything that we do in the, uh, we make that to make uh, conferences uh, accessible. We're working on the sign language glossary, so that's like a big deal too. So it's pretty, some exciting things we're doing. Um, we do have some talks at QCon in um, Salt Lake City, so if you guys be there, um, you can check us out. I think Catherine linked the um it's on the agenda. All our talks is on there. If you want to check us out, we'll have interpreters, um, we'll have some deaf speakers, and I will be speaking to Ann Travis. So hope to see you guys there if you two show up. Yeah, um, just want thank you. Um, I just wanna add that I'll, I'll be we doing a, a panel on Friday. Um I'm like uh, I believe it's like at eleven fifteen. I can't remember the time, but it's around that time. So if you can make it, it will be great. Me and Destiny will be there. Um, so I am. Uh, thank you well for for this meeting. Um, I know I've been quiet. Just uh, I have a lot of thought, but it's just like my problem is just the dark thought. You know, what I mean, like I'm trying to like, bring something positive. Um, but one thing I want to see, I think it's it's been a common theme throughout the uh, DMCF. Um, is I I keep seeing like uh insensitive language that's been used. Um. Well, the um, like uh, for example, I still see master. It should be replaced with control plane. So um, mm. that's mm. that's still a problem. Even when I was taking the test, I'm like, I'm looking at the word. And I'm like, wait a minute, I thought they fit it. And I'm like, what? So, so yeah, so uh, but yeah, so um, but yeah, I I, I like the the positivity that we are doing here, and you know, keep up a good work, you know, um. So yeah, I'm I'm trying to get more involved. You know, after KubeCon, we'll be talking about a lot of different things. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All this. Yeah. Th thank you, Travis. Sorry, interrupted you. 
uh, all these things, Travis. If you if you see this thing, just 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 note it down. Uh, put it in the Slack. Throw throw down the ideas. The um, and this is it's 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 good for for any for anyone. It's the same. Um, in example, uh, thinking of Mauro is Latino. Uh, is uh, I don't I don't know what might trigger the the sentiment of him uh, or his sentiment on something. Uh, so. Yeah, reading the word master on uh, on a, on a, on a Kubernetes cluster, I say, well, we could change it into a primary or control plane or whatever. Um, but maybe for a Latino, there is some other words that it says, well, I, this triggers me. So please do share it. Do share it, and uh, and those are things that we can work on absolutely, uh, and we should work on. But now we are five minutes over, uh, and I'm keeping you all. <laughs> um, so, guys, enjoy KubeCon. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm, I'm very jealous that I will not be there. And uh, I'll argue all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Bye.